Getting the size right when you're printing is always an issue and with sublimation printing where the materials are expensive and often you only get really one chance at doing it getting the size right is quite important. So let's have a quick look in Affinity Designer at one of the things that you need to do when you're setting up. Right at the beginning and these are in the notes, Affinity Designer notes, if you'd like to put it under that, where we're looking at output for sublimation printing. Now the usual paper sizes are listed on the right there, and most pre-made templates appear to be standard size paper. If you look at all the companies online that are selling templates for, for uh, sublimation printing, you'll find they come on US letter or A4 size paper nearly always. Now of course there are custom size ones, but they'll often fit into A3, A2, or any of the other similar sizes. So this is all. This is only a very short list on the right here, but it's one of the ones where you'll find most of the articles used. So if it's made in the UK and Europe, it'll nearly always be A4. If it's made in the US, it will nearly always be letter, otherwise known as ANSI A. Now this is important because the commercial market targets these paper sizes. <clears throat> Very few people are going to go to the trouble of making templates for odd sizes that one person in a million uses. If you want that, you'll probably have to pay for it. You will of course find almost any of the other standard sizes, but standard they will be. So let's have a look at the US letter setup. This is the one that I'm using here as an example and I'll show you how easy it is to trip up when you're using these paper sizes. This is in document setup. So I've pulled in the document that I've downloaded and I'm having a look at document setup to see what size it is. Now this is important because your printer will be dealing with the paper, the document. It knows nothing about what's printed on it. Your printer doesn't even know you're printing on the paper. As far as it knows, it's just taking a piece of paper from the bottom, stuffing it through its rollers, and popping it out the top, if you're lucky. So having a look in document setup, it shows that this is a letter size, page preset, a letter size, ANSI A. The document units are in inches, and it's 11 inches by 8.5. Portrait is not ticked, so it's in landscape mode. 11 by 8.5 inches tells me straight away that it's US letter. For the colour, I've got the colour set to ANSI, um, not ANSI, silly me, CMYK8 because it's going to a printer. Um, it's in inches, there are no margins, you don't want margins, this is the paper. Now, Nearly always with sublimation printing, you'll find you're printing up to the edge of the paper, or you're doing things on your paper that don't allow for margins. So don't put margins in there. You don't include the margins. If you do, be aware that they're there, and make sure that your printing space is adjusted around them. You can put margins so that you can say, don't put anything outside the margins. A reminder to yourself. Make sure your margins aren't something that can be printed though. If you want to print from edge to edge, don't include margins. Same goes for bleed. You, for sublimation printing, you don't really need bleed because um, what you're printing is what you're wanting usually. Now, direct printing from Affinity Designer, this is where I ran into um, the problem of having US letter size images on A4 size paper. Well, it thinks it's A4. And this was sending directly to the printer. If you're going to do that, look carefully at the settings. Notice here that I'm printing directly to A4 from within designer. The pink shaded area is the actual print area. And you think, oh wow, that's pretty good. I've got the whole design on there and it's automatically adjusted the paper and it's scaled at 100% and the fit type is scale that tells you even though it's 100% it's adjusted it 
for A4. Now, A4 is a lot bigger than US latter. Well, it's not a lot bigger, but it's considerably bigger. So you're going to run into problems. The actual button size in the template, and this is important, forget the full bleed area, we're looking at the actual ellipse. That's your button in this case, and it's 3.312 inches square. If you need to resize to A4, keep that button size as it's your actual button. Because sometimes if you scale the paper, it scales everything in it. So make sure you know what you want on your document and what you don't. You can see it says full bleed area there. That's fine. Whatever's in there is not going to get printed. You don't want whatever's in there. You're going to cut it off or wrap it around a button or, or stamp it out or do something with it. So if some of your design is in there, it'll get cut off. The same applies to whatever your design may be. You might have squares, triangles, um, trousers, shirts, skirts, whatever. There'll be all sorts of things you can have in there. Now don't confuse your document sizes. This document I'm using comes as a US letter size document. Exporting to a PDF creates a US letter size document which of course does not print correctly on A4, which my printer happens to be full of, as you can see here. The document is 10, uh, sorry, 11 by 8.5, but because I've got actual size ticked there, about halfway down, paper size and handling, I've got actual size clicked, it's in landscape mode, yeah, looks good, but have a look at the size there, 11.69 by 8.26. That's not the same size. And there's some grey and white in the background there that tells you what's going on. Now, fortunately in this case, the buttons are actually inside the bleed area and the bleed area is being cut off. And you can see that quite clearly at the bottom. But that's not what I want. So I want a full page um, because by changing those sizes, the button size will have changed. You need to resize your template to suit your paper. A4 is in millimetres and letter is in inches. You can't do it at printer level, only at design level. Your printer's full of A4 paper, that's what it'll print. If you put US letter paper in there, if your printer can take US letter paper, make sure you adjust your paper, your printer, in its settings and tell it you're using the other size paper. Otherwise, you're going to run into major problems. <laughs> A4 sizes, millimetres. Letter sizes, inches. If you open the document and see it's in inches, it's almost certainly US letter. So, always check your document size first. And that's in document setup. Load the document, go to document setup, and have a look and see what it is. And this one, because I changed it just before, thinks it's A4 millimetres, 297 by 210, landscape mode. But if I try and print that out, it won't work because the original document, which I have not yet modified, boundaries, sizes, margins, where the, where the images are actually sitting on the page, I haven't adjusted. All I did for your benefit was have a look at document setup and show you what it looks like. So please remember to subscribe to my channel and like it if you press like. That's also a little bonus for me. Makes me feel good. Share the love. I'm on YouTube and continue to work away bringing you interesting little tidbits like this one. Thanks for watching.